What's up, Dog Squad? Shred X just here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be back. I was gone for a couple weekends because I was busy, but here we are. Super excited to be doing another prediction video for you. The last time I did the predictions was week three of the NFL season. We've now had week four and week five. If you're not see any of my community posts I did telling you that I'd be off and updates on like the Cowboys and all that. I hope you saw them. I saw a couple people like them every once in a while, so uh, thank you to those people, and thank you for anyone that viewed and all that, those posts as well. You can also, speaking of that, go vo uh, go follow on Instagram, Dim Boys Report. That's my Cowboys Reports Instagram. Uh, you can go follow that on that very exciting social media app. Uh, I love Instagram. I don't know if you do, but anyways... Uh, we are going to be predicting, like I said, week six of the NFL season. Let me just say one thing. The Cowboys definitely was rough last week. But they got the win against the Patriots in week four. Uh, I was going to do a live stream for week four, but I wasn't able to watch it. I, wasn't able, I mean, I wasn't able to do a live stream because I was busy. And then week five was a primetime game. And then this week I will be not doing one for week six of the Cowboys-Chargers game. But I will be tomorrow doing a watch party for the 3.30 games here on Tradex 60, uh, I just want to get back into it. I know a lot of y'all love my watch parties, so I'm going to do one tomorrow. Now, without further ado, let's get into Week 6 NFL predictions. Here we go, Dog Squad. Right, Dog Squad, here we go. Week 6 NFL predictions. Let's get right into it. So, as you can see, like I said before, Week 4 and Week 5, I was not able to do predictions for that due to me being busy. But it actually went well. The uh, When we did week three predictions, I got a result of 10 and 5. Week four and week five, got a result of 10 and 5 in the fourth week. Fifth week was 8 and 5 due to a couple, uh, due to some bye weeks. 46 and 27 without Thursday Night Football picks. And then Thursday Night Football picks, I uh, predict, 51 and 28, which is pretty good. So most of the Thursday Night Football games, I do get right. Uh, what I mean by is... I don't have time to do predictions be before a Thursday night football game during the week here on the channel, but I do predict them on the ESP fan ESPN Fantasy app, and of course I just predict them as well. So 51 and 28, I am with those picks, 46 and 27 without. So let's go ahead and see what we do this week. You can see there are a lot of weeks left to get these right. Hopefully, uh, I'm not going to be the best, but hopefully I can do pretty well as an outcome this year. Ravens 3 and 2 at the Titans 2 and 3. This is an 8:30 a.m. game. I'm not sure if they're playing in London. I think they're playing somewhere though. I just I don't know actually. They're playing I think I think they're playing in London. I think I remember that. Um so that'll be 8:30 a.m. I do think the Ravens will edge past the Titans this game. The reason is because the Titans have been on and off lately. They've been a little inconsistent. So have the Ravens. But yeah, Lamar Jackson going up against a uh, Oh, okay, Titans defense, that's okay, I'd say. Titans defense is not known to be hot, red hot, like their offense is, but that's what keeps them in this game as well. Ravens get past with the win. Seahawks 3-1 and one at the Bengals 2-3, and three, uh, but play at 12 p.m. Uh, on CBS. This will be a tough game. Bengals are actually starting to come out of their shell. Jamar Chase is really mad because he's not getting open. But I do think the Bengals will lose this game for one reason is they're not the same Bengals. And the Seahawks have too much talent. Geno Smith has gotten has a, been a much better quarterback. I just don't see the Bengals really win this game. But they are going to keep going, I think. They are going to keep it. Joe Burrow has not been his best, but I think they do progress throughout the season. They keep this game close. They're going to start getting better, but the Seahawks will win this one. The Bengals will not win tomorrow against the Seahawks. Saints 3-2, and two, Texans 2-3, two 12 p.m. on Fox. Yep, Texans I have winning this game. They've been just awesome lately. Saints have two, but I think Texans also, they've been doing really well at home. Even going to Jacksonville and winning that game. I haven't talked a lot about football recently, so there's a lot I have to talk about lately. Uh, 
to tell you what I know from the past couple weeks. This is going to be a tough game. CJ Stroud, I think definitely, definitely has a chance of winning Rookie of the Year. The Saints, Derek Carr and, and Jameis Winston put up 34 points against the Patriots the other day. Patriots, of course, we put 38 points against them, but we're better. Maybe. I mean, us and the Saints may be equal. I think we're better than the Saints, honestly, if we played them this year. But anyways, that's besides the point. We'll, we'll talk about them when we get there, if we get there. Texans, they're much better than last year. I, and I knew that they would be. A lot of people said they wouldn't, but I knew they would be earlier this season when I made my predictions. The Texans would be better, and I do think they'll be winning this game with the offense they have. They'll be able to get through that Saints defense, which I would say is good. They can hold up the te Texans, but I just don't think they can hold Damian Pierce and or or C.J. Stroud. But I think definitely it's Damian Pierce that they're going to have trouble with as well. Panthers 0-5 at the Dolphins 4-1. Yeah, I, there's really not much to say. Panthers has just been they've just been disasters this year. Uh, Dolphins really there's just too obvious. If the Dolphins lose this game, then I don't think anyone really would. I don't think anyone would really be, you know. Be like, oh, you should have picked the Panthers or anything. Like, unless you're being funny, this should be an easy one for the Dolphins. Defense has struggled for the Dolphins, but I think offense is just too, one of the best offenses. So, they get the win against Carolina. This is a game that I really thought would be better going into the season. Uh, Vikings one and four at the Bears one and four, 12 p.m. on Fox. You're probably like the Bears. You're picking them over the Vikings. No, look. A lot of people are. A lot of people are. More people are probably picking the Vikings. I think they are. But, Justin Fields and DJ Moore have something going on. And I knew they would going into this. That's why I had them going about seven to eight wins this year. Not in the quite in the playoffs, but they're much better. Bears were one of the win most, were one of the teams that were winless. Blew a, come, blew a lead to the Broncos, who have not done well. But they're starting to get back on track. They were angry. And they were like, uh, we're not being a winless team anymore. And they took it out on the Commanders, who almost beat Philadelphia. So the Bears, I do think, the Vikings are good. But you don't have Justin Jefferson, which really hurts my fantasy team. Now I'm having to go look for a receiver. <laughs> and it's hurting me and my fantasy team. I did the same thing last year with Cooper Cup, yet I still won because I'm just too good. I won the conference without Cooper Cup. It's too. I'm just too good. But I think he's only at four, six weeks. You should. I think the Bears could. This is a chance. This is their chance to win. Have two wins. That's it. Commanders two and three. If the Falcons three and two. Twelve p.m. on CBS. Commanders. I feel like are starting to go downhill in their season. Look, I only expect them to have four wins, and they're already having. They already have two. But they've had three losses in a row. Can they get it going? Yeah. Man, by John Robinson. I think he could be rookie of the year. He's in the conversation for rookie of the year. He actually may be. He actually may be it. Uh, just like Zeke did in 2016 with the Cowboys. Commanders are starting to fall. Sam Howell's done a great job this year starting QB. I kind of underestimated him going into the season. He's done a great job. This is a se this is a type of the season now we're starting to reflect. Especially, also I probably could reflect the last week, but you know what? Me being gone for a couple weeks. Falcons, I think, definitely can get the job done. Desmond Ritter's actually done pretty well this year. This, this is not an ordinary Falcons. And I, I picked them to win the different division. And they, so far, are on track to do so. But they get the win over the Commanders. I mean, the 49ers and the Browns. 49ers 5-0, Browns 2-2, 12 p.m. on Fox. Yeah, this should be an easy win for 49ers. They're dominant, both sides of the ball. That's all you can say. Colts 3-2, Jaguars 3-2. This is a good game. Now, I expected the Colts to be worse this year, and I expected the Jaguars to probably have, like, a what? About, about this record, 4-1. Not 5-0, because I did have them beating the Chiefs regular season and before the season. Colts are without Anthony Richardson, I believe. Even if he does, he's still shaking up. Jaguars should get the win this game. They play like they're supposed to. They've been a little inconsistent, especially giving up a loss to the Texans. But they beat the Bills and the Falcons in London. I just don't think the Colts can escape this one. Trevor Lawrence, he's helped me in fantasy. And also, I just... Their defense has gotten better. But maybe about, actually maybe about the same as last year. About, I'd say outside top 10, maybe top 10. 
But give it to them. Text Jaguars win it. Patriots one and four, Raiders two and three. Okay, yeah, they only score thirteen points this game. So do the Raiders. I mean, Patriots have a good enough defense to stop the Raiders, but really, they're just they're gonna get tired. Their offense isn't progressing. They are only gonna score thirteen points, and the Raiders are actually gonna get. I think they're gonna lose a little bit of this game off last last game's so Magic. They're gonna be like, okay, gotta get back ourselves up, but you're able to beat the Patriots. So I think the Raiders get the job done tomorrow. Lions four and one at Bucks three and one three thirty p.m. on Fox. Yeah, Lions have definitely had a great year, and I do think this will be an odd. Like you can see twenty one six. The Bucks will take an early lead, and the Lions will actually want to get into it. Their offense, Jared Goff, they've been tremendous. Amon St. Brown's actually finally back. Josh Reynolds has gotten me some fantasy points. He's been getting into it. Hopefully, he stays into it. But there's really nothing else to say. I mean, besides, Lions have a chance. I know they're not a playoff team, usually, but they still. This should be the year that they could do something. We'll see though. Eagles five and zero with the Jets two and three. Yeah, I know. Um, I much. I really hate saying it, but Eagles, I think, will win it. I guess that's all I can. It's going to be close. I could see the Jets winning this game as much as they fight. Now, for some reason, they like to go to Denver and fight with them. But then again, the Chiefs tried fighting with them. So it's the NFL. We don't know. Eagles are going to have a tough situation. Their offense is going to have ups and downs. Jets are going to have ups and downs. Jets are also going to keep within range with their defense. Eagles are going to keep within range with also their defense. With the Georgia Bulldog defense. It's going to be an offensive defense. It's going to be probably a... A little bit in between of an offense and defensive game. Not going to be too high and not going to be too low. But the Eagles have the have the outcome due to just, I think, them being the better team. They'll pull it out at the end just like they did last week. Cardinals 1-4, Rams 2-3, 33-30 30 p.m. On, uh, on Fox. Last time we were made these predictions, we were going into the Cardinals game for the Cowboys-Cardinals game. What happened there? We lost. Rams are going to be different. Cardinals will eventually win another game. It's sad to have that them be the only win is against us. It's sad. We should have defeated them, but we didn't because we're too inconsistent. No, we're a good team. We're too inconsistent. Two and three for the Rams. They're going to go three and three. Puka, man. They've been on and off, but they've gotten back on track. Fighting with Philadelphia last week. That's why I like to see... They're getting more into the game. They're starting to get back to their old self. Cooper Cup's now finally back. They're going to win it, and they'll have a tie record tomorrow. Giants 1-4 at Bills 3-2. Not much to say. Giants somehow pull, somehow stink at home. They're back to another away game. They've, this is week six, and they've only had two away games. Two, I mean, two home games. Two! But they fight more away. I don't under... It's like, because all their away games are just tough. Dolphins, Bills... 49ers. I mean, it seems like it. But yeah, that's what will happen tomorrow. The Bills, though, will some will win this game, go four and two. But Giants somehow will put up a fight, a little bit of a fight. Okay, this is the game, a uh, Cowboys game going into this week. Three and two at the Chargers. Two and two Monday Night Football, seven fifteen on ESPN. Twenty-eight to twenty, I have the Cowboys winning it. It's gonna be close. We all know how it goes. Well, somehow there'll be something going on between. It'll be a fight, and we'll have the better outcome, and it will be us probably getting a couple picks. I feel like Dak will probably throw a pick, but I also think he'll score a couple touchdowns. I have a feeling after last week, our red zone offense will be as, uh, will be pretty great too. It won't start off well, but I think. We'll edge past them. We'll get the win. It'll be a close one. Chargers are not like, oh, you're 2-2. Two and two. Well, you're not good. Well, no. Yeah, that's not how it's going to work. I think the, I think the Cowboys um, will stay with that three. We'll stay, at three we'll stay with the winning, winning record. Go 4-2. Their offense will get going. Defense will have much as they can against a, a good a Chargers team. We'll hold them to 20 points because they're just better. Then the Jets, who scored 10 on them. Maybe. I don't know. But they'll score 20. They're at. They're there. It'll, ha it'll just happen. It's good. We all know this is probably going to be like this. It's a Cowboys game. It's going to be tough. Two good teams. And there you have it.
Cowboys win four and two. Chargers dropped to two and three. Thank you so much for watching, Dog Squad. Remember to subscribe. Your thoughts? Leave me down. Leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, I really hope I get these right. Hopefully, the Cowboys win it to go four and two. It'd be great. But we never know. I like watching NFL overall. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow. Live stream watch party, 3.30 p.m. I was going to do noon, but that's like seven games. And let me get to just start with four. And also, it's better for NFL setting tickets. I may never do seven. Four, though, will probably be late, uh, later games. will probably be when it is. Remember, Cowboys have their bye week next week, so no preview, nothing. I'll do a preview later, and I'll be posting that. To, it'll be scheduled for tomorrow since the game is on Monday. Thank you so much for watching Dog Squad, and I will see you next video. Peace.